Good evening, everyone. And for our fourth Target selection of clearance items, Disney's Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Yes, The Awakening. It's The Awakening. See it. Yeah, should I be quiet? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Do you want to see what's inside of Gargoyles Awakening? Oh, you remember. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Looks like they want to see. Yes, we are the gargoyles. What did they say? Gargoyles. <laughs> I like this color too. Oh my gosh. So it's two to five, ten and up, and takes 45 minutes to an hour to play. Oh, wow. Could be long. And it's got a semi hefty uh, rule book. Robin's Burger. Hey. Yeah, when you said 45 minutes, it means okay. there's more to it. So, the board looks like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, let's get serious here. So you take, oh. these become your buildings. You punch those out, put them together, and they go on the different oh. locations, which looks like they're color-coded orange, green, purple, blue, and red. I mean, I'm just guessing here. You have the rule book. I mean, you can see it. I mean, you can, you can tell, Eric. And that's where you put the... them. Oh. Looks like a lot for a 10 year old, but okay. Advanced 10 year old. <laughs> Alright, so we have what looks like would possibly be some standees because I see a couple standee token tags mm. here. Yeah, you got a couple standees. Okay. Pegs. Okay, so you have the game board, you already did that. You did a city, three city buildings, which is yeah. this this one. Um, Why do I have clips? Um, eight health tracker. I clips. bet they're for these. Yeah, that would be your health tracker. Okay, so we have that, and then we have... And then you have. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm assuming different scenarios of the game. Mm. We have dice. You have dice. Okay. You have five custom dice. That's what it's like here. And more building, building parts. You should have one police clock tower building. Oh, wow. Do you think that's what this is? Eerie building. I think that's what this probably is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's how that looks like. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's not mix this up. Let's keep those pieces somewhat together if possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what are these cards that I'm about to look into? You have plenty of cards here. Um, how does it look like? Uh, I don't know. You They're still wrapped. Cards. Okay. It looks 60 like. 60 hero cards, then for hero. Yep. Like there's more than 10 for so this So you room. have your 10, so that's oh. the hero cards next to your hero play card. Mm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six decks. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's a. See, like that. Hero play card, hero card. And your figurine, which they call this, we'll get to that. To that. Sounds like 
somebody turned the television up. <laughs> That, you know, for that small box, that has a lot of components. It does. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I, I, I saw a write-up on this that people actually had good things to say about it. And I've been kind of looking at it. Good thing you got it at the, same, at the right time. At the right place, right time. And but. the last set of cards. But, yeah, there's a lot to this, so... It might not be that simple of a game. And these are what? Um, are those villains? There's an awful lot of these cards. They're 40? not separated. One is for the... We have 40 cards. Probably. So if it's 40, that's the villain cards. I'm saying there's probably 40 just based on how much is in my hand. And do they look like villains? They look like bad things. Okay. So, yeah. You got it. Alright. So then all we really got left of this is... They call it the Furings. All right, so scary. I'm scared of this all the time. Gargoyles. You're a lady. You're really gargoyle. So, for the most part, you have gargoyles except for the one female character. Is that about Which right? Is hero the hero? Right? Hmm. Which that I would one, assume is her. Elisa. Yeah. Well, hopefully, folks, you're seeing the 360-degree views of these gargoyle figures. They're awesome. They're scary. They can give me nightmares. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. And here you go again. It's the kind of stretchy, flexy, not hard, which I like. It's for kids. It's good. So, as always, folks, support your local gaming. We support Discovery Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Brilliant. While Eric is cleaning up. <laughs> Game on, everybody. Game on.